let's give a big round of applause to our first prize, the DreamHack ASUS ROG Dream League champions, Natus Vincere. How was the atmosphere in the finals? It was amazing, it was not only because of the people cheering for the teams, but also because we had an amazing soundtrack of Darud in the background that not only the hosts, but also the audience and the players themselves really loved. What's better, a triple rapier on a host or a Darud Sandstorm in the background? Why not both? So we have two things here. First of all, you won your first dream hack. This is something new for you, even though you won the ATI, you won a lot of stuff. DreamHack is kind of special. So you have this lovely public in front of you. Is there anything that you want to tell them? Uh, thank you, everyone. A man of few words, but really, really wise. Kuro, you've been the unsung hero of the tournament as well, so we're going to give you a couple words to you as well. Anything you want to say? Uh, well, uh, it was great games. I, I don't know. Thank you, everyone, too. It was a great tournament. All participants were really strong. GG, well played to Fnatic. And have a nice night, guys. Well, the first time uh, Navi wins the DreamHack, finally. Um, what what made, made them win today? What made the difference? I think they came back and studied their loss against Fnatic. They understood what they were doing wrong. In the case of Alliance, they know each other very well. They've been playing so much that they kind of figured out their opponents faster than their opponents figured out Navi. And even though Fnatic won in their first game, 3-0, Navi could come back and say, okay, we can adapt to this, while Fnatic kind of went for the same things and really didn't work for them. Do you think uh, the, the players are this good at the moment that uh, the tactics and uh, the strategies are more important than uh, how perfect they play micro-wise? Players will always, be, will always be important. If not, we will be able to put computers to play the game and they will be able to play it better than us, and that's not the case. It will always come down to be smart when you play throughout the tournament, but will be those key matches that you will get the players standing out like Fnatic did today and just winning the games. Um, we've seen um, Fnatic for quite a while now. They've been playing pretty okay the last month, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you think they will keep going, getting better or might, are they going to drop back again? No, absolutely. They're getting better and better. Let's remember when these guys came into the scene, they would lose every single match and they came from being the ultimate winners in Han. If there's anything these guys don't lack, it's actually desire to improve and wanting to win tournaments. They're getting there slowly. They did very well at TI3. They did amazingly well here at DreamHack. They're taking it second place, which is no shame because it was six great teams initially. So I'm sure that come next month, Fnatic will eventually win a LAN tournament because these guys totally deserve it. What's your highlight of DreamHack? Um, the people just walking around, have, seeing everyone having fun their own way. It's the variety. It's not only a Dota 2 tournament. It's a LAN, it's a party above everything. and. In parties you have fun.